Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. Hope you're all doing well. And today I wanted to cover a topic that I just, uh, you know, it's, it's been around for a while. In fact, uh, the topic of this video I just want to do is on traditions in a Jiu Jitsu Academy. Traditions that I don't know where they came from, but they came and sometimes they're, they're pretty, pretty prominent. So one of them was actually was prompted by reading an article last night about Fabio Grigel and also Kyle Terra did one as well about the gauntlet. Right. For those of you who don't know, the gauntlet is something that they do when you earn a rank, typically a belt. What they'll do is they'll line all the members up uh, and they'll, they'll put them, you know, a line on one side, a line on the other side. And you have to then go through that line, take your gi top off and get whipped on the back, back side. Right. Could be the legs, could be the butt, could be the back. Never the head, though. Could be where you walk through it. I've seen some people run through it. I've seen some where you crawl through it, and I've seen some where you do like bear crawls through it, and you do it really slow, and you just get whack, 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 whack. Fabio Gorgel had said that to him it's the worst mistake he's ever made in his academy implementing that particular rule um, or that tradition. And I and I see that. I guess it came. It it, it all came from him uh, awarding a belt to a kid. I don't know how old this kid was. And he made the kid go through the gauntlet and he got whipped like everybody else does. Uh, and his mother was so horrified at it, she told her husband to report him to the cops. I guess it would be, it's a shame to think that it would, that it would take that much for a master to realize that something like that is not right. Uh, not a right thing to do in your academy, especially with kids. You know, I guess you could do it with the, with the guys you know, let's say it's your, compet your, your competitor team, or let's say it's your MMA team or something, you know, then that's the kind of stuff you kind of expect. But if it's your business professionals, if it's your, uh, your females, if it's your kids, I don't know, is that something you do? I mean, okay, so you, so you say, okay, well, it's only for our competitors that we do it. Well, then what if some kid or some business professional is gonna go, well, why are, you, why are you excluding me? So that means you gotta put, you gotta include him into it, but then other people are gonna go, I don't wanna do it. And then they feel bad because they're not, they're choosing not to go through it because other people are gonna go, what are you, chicken? Or, you know, hey, that's what everybody does. I had to get my, my butt whipped getting my belt. You should get yours whipped too, right? It, it's, it's kind of childish. I was never a fan of it. We've never done it here. No school that I've ever been at did that. And, you know, that's going back to Helsin, Hori, and Hoyce. I don't know if Fabio Santos does it, but he didn't do it when we were at the Gracie Academy. Hickson didn't do it. Uh, Ken Gabrielson didn't do it. Brad Jackson didn't do it, as far as I know. Um, but anyway, but I, I've seen guys that I know, that I've known for 25 years. And, you know, they run academies, and, and, they, and they have videos of guys getting belts and getting whipped, you know, through the gauntlet. You know, I'll see those videos, and... You know, I guess it's it's kind of a, I don't know, gut reaction that I'd get from it. I'd be like, uh, okay. Um, you know, like I said, it's not something I do, but it, it's to me, if it's if it's not anything that Elio's sons did, then to me, it's not needed, right? So the gauntlet, you know, we just never did it. Um, I just never liked it. And I, I don't know why I never liked it. I, I Maybe mostly because it was just one of those things that we never did. So, okay, so why do it? Right. Here's another one, bowing. Now, when you're in judo, when you're in karate, you know, you bow, right? Because that's just the way they do it. But Gracie Jiu Jitsu, no, um, it's not something we've ever done. You can do it. I mean, it, it shows a sign of respect, but it's not something that that is expected in our school. Another one is tying your back to the center of the mat or actually turning your back to the center of the mat when you have to tie your belt, meaning face the outside of the mat when you're tying your belt. That one I never got, but it's not, you know, it's one that I've seen, you know, they post it on the walls, you know, as, as part of, you know, rules and things, whatever, you know, whenever you're in this academy, your belt comes loose, turn it face the wall before you tie your belt. No, something we've never done. And another thing that just wastes time. You know, I know some other martial arts schools, they'll have mantras up on the wall and they'll go, you know, they'll, they'll go, what do you call it? Uh, yell those mantras out, you know, really fast to get it over with. You know, these, these kids, when they say it, they don't know what, you know, they memorize it, but they don't know what they're saying. Another one, I, I you know, in this one, you know, uh, putting a picture of the founders of jujitsu up on the wall. Uh, I get that, right? Uh, we don't have that here, uh, mostly because we don't, 
we've never really functioned out of permanent locations, um, what we have, but and we just never got around to it. And I've seen some black belts, as part of their procedure, make everybody bow there, bow to the professor and like, or the grandmaster. No, you know, one that always kind of that I'm, I'm always I always feel awkward in, but I know it's a tradition is to have people line up, and you know, I never know where to line up. Um, do I stand when I you know when I go show up at a school and I help out? Do I stand with the students? Do I stand with the professors? Um, I don't know. You know, that's that's something that we don't do as well. Um, you know, as far as you know, the mentality we like to have is that we're all we're all we're all friends here. Um, we just happen to to train, and some of us have been training a little while longer than the others. But there's no there's no necessary requirement for respect or additional respect. Uh, because that person has been training longer. Nobody bows to me. Um, in fact, I'm kind of uncomfortable when people do it. Um, we have a guy that joined, and at, at his school, you know, they he would uh, bow, slap his hips, and then shake your hand. And it's like, nice. Nah, so he did to everybody. Every, you know, it took him a long time to say goodbye to everybody. You know, just no, just just come by, shake our hand if you want, give us a hug, and then go. But yeah, hugs have always been. You know, I've noticed that with the Brazilians. You know, they're 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 big on hugs. You know, shaking hands and hugs. You know, and that's what I like actually. Um, I think that's a that's a good thing because it helps to kind of keep people close. And what else? Uh, oh, I had one professor years ago, back in like the 2000s. He was kind of like a guest professor at a school that I was at. And his thing was, if you sneezed or burped on the mat, you had to do 10 push-ups. I don't know about that one, but it was his thing. I mean, that's that's what he required. You know, if you burp, oh, 10, who burped? You, 10 push-ups. We do have a push-ups thing here at our school, but it's mostly for the kids and the juniors. And it's really a conditioning tool. It's not really a tradition. A conditioning tool in that if uh, you know we require our kids and our juniors to stand up in base all the time. You know, anytime you're getting up off the ground, stand up in base. Why? Because it's practical for self-defense. Instead of me just yelling at them, hey, stand up in base, right? They know after I show them how to do it, I say, okay, going forward now, you're gonna need to do it every time. Kids go, okay. And I said, now, to make sure you do it every time, every time you don't do it, you're gonna have to do push-ups. Okay, all right, the first time you mess up, 10 push-ups, okay. Second time, 20, third, 30, you know, so on and so forth. So guess what? They learn how to stand up in base really quick. And if they don't, then they get really good at push-ups. Both good, right? Um, you know, push-ups does a lot of stuff for the body. It's, you know, push-ups are good as, a, as an attitude deterrent or a certain action deterrent. And the action that we don't like is when a kid tells us, I can't do something. Right? Can't is a bad word. Can't is a C word in our school. So, 20 push-ups. What other traditions do you guys do at your school? You know, another thing that, that they never did for us, but, but I hear a lot of people doing now, is this os. What is that? Os. I don't think that there's even a meaning to that. Um, the Brazilians never did that. Maybe they do now, but they didn't then. Os. I never got that one. But I know that some people say it as kind of a, as a, a term of respect, and I get that. I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything about it. Another thing is, I guess, what do you address your professor by? All right, so, you know, in, in any Japanese martial arts, it's sensei. In uh, jujitsu, it's always been professor. Do you need to call your professor that? That really depends on your instructor. You know, I guess if I were to do it all over again, you know, with any of my, my professors previous to uh, Professor Dave, Fernando, and Jack, I would call professor, only because to me it's just a sign of respect, you know. But but they never required it. You 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 know, Helson never introduced himself to anyone as oh I'm Professor Helson, or Hickson I'm Professor Hickson. No, when you meet Hickson, he's not going to say oh hi I'm Grandmaster Hickson, right? Whereas you got the other martial arts where I've seen where people walk into a studio and the the instructor goes hi I'm Master So and So. Okay, just, so for me, when I walk in, you know, somebody walks into my studio and I say, hi, I'm Ryan, simple as that. What should I call you? Call me whatever you want, right? Some will call me professor, some will call me coach. When I'm in Hawaii, some will call me sensei. It, it really doesn't matter. The only thing that I will correct somebody on what they call me on is they call me something that I didn't earn. For instance, in jujitsu, a master is someone who's earned their seventh degree and their coral belt. So seventh and eighth degree, that's a master, right? 
I'm not anywhere near that. So if anybody were to call me master, I say, uh, 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 no, that's not me. Don't call me that. And then they ask me, what do I call you? Call me whatever you want, but don't call me master because I haven't earned that yet. So that's really the only thing that, that I just tell people don't call me. But other than that, call me whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, it's not important to me. Me as a practice, I do call, right? I call Dave, Professor Dave. I mean, that's just what he is to me. Um, and Fernando, Professor Fernando. Uh, but that's just, like I said, it's to me. But it's never been really a thing. I, I just I just call them that because that's what I felt I wanted to, to call them. Um, and even in or ordinary conversation, you know, I'll, that's what I'll call them. But whatever you do, it really just depends on your instructor and every instructor has their their uh, their thing. So those are the the I guess the traditions I can think of offhand that I kind of want to talk about. If you have any, throw them in the comments below, right? And uh, let's let's talk about. It. I, I kind of want to know. I'm I'm curious now that we've gotten onto this. I hope your training is going well. I hope we're able to help you guys here. You know this channel. You know we're we're really trying to work hard to make sure we provide interesting content for you. Technical stuff you can get all over the place. Um, at any rate, uh, let us know your comments if you like it. Hit the like button. Um, and also subscribe to the channel so when we have new stuff, you'll see it right away. Anyway, take care. Happy training. Bye-bye.